The need for grooming a new generation of young people who promote the essence of community leadership and bring positive change to the society has been stressed. This view formed the kernel of discussions, speeches and lectures at the flag off of the 2017-2018 leadership trainings for school prefects in public secondary schools in the state. The event held at Anglican Secondary School near we had in attendance selected school prefects from the 237 public post-primary schools in the state with the theme committed leadership. The leadership training which aims at instilling the best leadership skills on the newly appointed prefects to become role models in their schools and catalysts for positive change in the society has become an annual gathering and initiative of the State Post Primary School Service Commission in sustaining the reforms in the education sector. The current opened the event, the chairman of Post Primary School Service Commission PPSSC, Lady Joy Olase, who exemplified Governor Willie Obiano as a true leader who is positively bringing sus sustainable development to the state, urged the new school prefects to emulate him. The PPSSC chairman Lady Joy also took a step further to release a hotline to the students as a measure to curb examination malpractice in their schools. The Primary School Service Commission PPSSC annually approves leadership training for our school prefects as one of its proactive strategies in the management of our schools. Are you any supervisor, any teacher, principal? In a lead paper presentation, the principal of Newi High School, Mr. Ah, Paulo Hagrim, oh, and other yeah. paper presenters who focused on the sub teams of the leadership training underscored the need for young people to imbibe the virtues of true leadership, which, according to them, places preeminence on commitment as a way of bringing change to our value system. One of the books of Chinua Echebe said that one of the problems we have at leadership in Nigeria. It's not that we don't have the material, the manpower, the resources, but we don't have the proper people to manage them. Speaker after speaker, including the state coordinator, guidance and counseling services in the commission, Mrs. Nkiru Kankechuku, the zonal director near the zone of the commission, Mrs. Nkechi Ilozumba, and the chairman on the occasion, Mr. Nonso Kafo, hope the leadership training which is planned to continue at zonal and school levels will go a long way in molding the students on the core values of the reform going on in the education sector. Speaking to the ABS, the senior prefect, Community Secondary School Ichi, Master Madab Chieba, and the senior prefect, Anglican Girls Secondary School near we Miss Chisum Egemonia expressed satisfaction with the lessons they learned at the training and called for its sustenance. I have to, you know, organize a meeting with my fellow colleagues as in the prefects and have to share what we learned here and so that we can use this knowledge in our activities in the school. Um, one thing I learned most especially was time management because it's only what used to disturb many of our prefects, even in this school, due to they want to please the school at the same time do their school work. But sometimes they end up pleasing the school instead of doing what they're supposed to do. Class. So the what I learned today is to be just the time management. So the creation of the new school prefects by the chairman of the commission formed the high points of the event. From Newi, this is David Obukwase reporting, Fabius News.